Okay, guys, welcome back once again to DJ Pablo TV. I'm your host, Paul, aka DJ Pablo. I'm it's a Sunday, guys, and as promised, I am back with the results for the 2020 Stokio Battle Royale DJ Battle in Nam, guys. And I'm saying, and I can tell you, man, it was a pretty exciting event. But before we start, guys, I just want to say if this is your first time, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on that when you don't miss any of my videos all right my regular subscribers i salute you guys for always being here with me you guys are the backbone of this channel and i truly appreciate you guys from my heart and i'm saying so we are just going to jump right in guys not waste any time i'm going to keep it real short tonight and i'm saying because i'm tired as hell man but as far as i gotta give you guys the results and i'm saying so to start off guys i just want to say congratulations to dj traps and salute to you my brother for winning the 2020 Tokyo battle royale dj battle he won guys and it was a pretty cool event they went in real nice and i'm saying guys a lot of needle skipping going on because they were doing vinyls and i'm saying guys but it was real nice guys they had fun salute to all the djs that were there salute to dj shortcut chopping it up and i'm saying guys and he was one of the big judges at the event guys and had a few females there as well so i'm saying they definitely had fun guys and i wish i was there with them but you know i'm doing things so far so i'm saying but pretty soon in the future i'm going to be showing up at a lot of these events live and taking pictures so that you guys can see me there and we can do maybe a meet and greet or something so i'm saying guys but i am happy for all the djs who were there it was real nice to seeing them cutting up vinyl guys it's been a minute since i've heard needles just skipping all over the damn place and i'm saying because we get used to using software so much now i was almost forgetting what needle skipping sounds like so i'm saying so it was nice to hear and i respect all the djs who decide you know what we're gonna go up there and do the damn thing and show people how it was done back in the day when i started up back in the 90s when we never had all this fancy stuff so i'm saying guys we had to go in we had to tape records up and we just had to develop muscle memory for that vinyl that way your hands are gentle and you just get the record back in spot and not have the needle to skip too much and i'm saying so it was nice and i definitely enjoyed it i hope all the young djs who are here i hope you guys really really just try sometimes what i'm saying just to see what it was like put a piece of vinyl on put your needle on and just try to see if you can scratch and kind of keep the needle in the groove so i'm saying because it was a lot of fun back then guys i can tell you i did enjoy those times in my life but we never had the technology we have to hustle to get vinyl we have to tape our records up chop it up in the mix real nice try to do tricks with it and make sure the needle don't jump and i want to say salute to the djs who are doing that on 45 as i can tell you if you thought doing that with a 12 inch vinyl was hard guys back in the day the djs were rocking now with 45s doing beat juggles and stuff with 45s knowing that the 45 adapter could skip at any time causing the records to slip under the damn 45 adapter and then causing your needle to probably end up on the slip mat and busting that needle up these guys are amazing i salute them i did a little something something back in the day guys but i was scared of breaking my needle so i don't really do that much with my 45 i try to take it easy i might chop it up with some cuts but i am not going to try to beat juggler 45 causing my needle to break especially when i was back in jamaica where you know I had to pay like 50 times more just to buy the same needles you guys are having here and the kind of needles i'm enjoying here right now so i'm saying guys but as i said guys it was a cool time in my life guys and vinyl is a lot of fun if you're a dj you've never tried it you really need to get some vinyl and just actually just turn off the computer even if you get a pto one and just chop it up and just feel what it feels like just to really scratch real vinyl so i'm saying nothing's wrong with enjoying technology if you're having a midi controller you're using your cdjs nothing's wrong with that guys but just really give it a shot to see what it felt like back in the day with only vinyl guys where you had to add some skill to really go on the turntables and do anything real real special so i'm saying guys so with that said guys i am just gonna wrap it up so i'm saying once again salute to all the djs i definitely had fun checking out the battle and i hope that there will be bigger and better things in the next episode of this stokyo battle royale so i'm saying guys and once again salute to all the djs who were there salute to the celebrity judges salute to qbert salute to 
DJ Shortcut. Salute to all the people from Tokyo, USA. See what I'm saying, guys? It was a nice event. Everyone had fun. And I really am enjoying covering this battle like I do with all the other battles that I try to cover for all of you guys who subscribe and check out the channel. I'm saying so. I'm just gonna wrap it up, guys. I'm not gonna be here too long. It's Sunday night, man. I wanna relax. I'm saying, but as promised, you know, I'm a man of my word. I wanna make sure you guys get the results. So I did my thing and I'm presenting that to you once again. Salute to the champ, the winner. DJ Traps, go send him some congratulations on Instagram, guys, look him up, and just give him some kind words so he can feel special about that moment in his life, so I'm saying, guys, and with that said, man, I'm just going to wrap it up the usual way, peace and salute from West Palm Beach, and I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys on my next video, all right, peace.